Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Matchbox Resurrection. And today I'm playing with this Ford truck. And uh, this one was a gift from my friend Dan and his daughter Ellie. So thank you very much. I hope you both are safe and well. And uh, this is one of the Matchbox Rollomatics that go like uh, moving parts when you roll the car. It's supposed to have a lion on a cage on the back and uh, when you roll the car it moves around in the cage uh, it doesn't do it very well because the wheels are a bit knackered as you can see but that's easily sorted that's no problem at all and as for the rest uh, it's got a red window that I'm gonna change and as for the rest I'm gonna do something different because I'm not a fan of animals in cages. I think it's just not right. I know that they've got everything they need and they well looked after. But with this virus, we are living in a cage now and we don't like it. So imagine how they feel when they have to live all their lives in a cage. Rant over. Sorry about that. As you can see, the wheels actually are not in bad condition. They both got that little bit of plastic that makes the things moving. Even the other one on the front, it's just the axles that they bent. So I just need to sort them out. And I'm not gonna take them pieces of plastic off because uh, I want to save the mechanism just in case that in future I want to put something going round, like a human. The window is red and it doesn't go with my color scheme, so I'm gonna make my own. I only need the front, so I think it will be easier. And this part, which is the part that goes round, I'm just gonna save it, cause I may do something else. As for the body, it's in pretty good condition. It's a really good die cast, proper solid. So it just needs a new paint job. And uh, after stripping the paint off, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm actually gonna build a cage, but I'm gonna build a cage for humans. I'm gonna do a camper to sit on the back of the truck, but it's gonna be removable. So if I ever want to do something else with a car in the future, I just have to take it off. And uh, I'm gonna use some coffee sticks and I'm just gonna glue them into a piece of paper and then I'll be doing the walls, the ceiling, the floor and everything else. The noise you can hear in the background is actually not a train. It's just the water boiling ready for my linguine. So what I've done here is I cut a piece of paper with the shape that I want and I'm just gonna glue it into this panel and uh, that will be the walls and the floor and the ceiling. Basically, I'm just making a wooden box. And after that, I just need to peel the paper off. And these are gonna be the sides of the camper.
I want to make sure that both sides are the same so everything is like square and uh, I just glue them together and I'm just gonna sand them down. When it's done and everything is nice and square I just need to pull it apart and both sides are done now uh, and after that I'm just gonna do the rest of the size of the camper. The truck don't have an interior but I found this one which is from a 57 Chevy and it actually fits fantastic. It's even got exhaust but I won't be able to use it because otherwise I can't fit the chassis. So what I need to do is just chop the front part. I've got all the panels done now uh, and I made some holes for the windows and now I'm just going to glue everything together. I'm also going to put some clear plastic inside the windows. I'm building the roof with wooden slots and I put like a brace in between both walls so it's always the same distance and now I'm just sticking them on. Uh, they're all different sizes because as usual I don't have any measurements or anything I'm just playing by ear. It's already starting to look like a camper and I've done it in such a way that it just sits on top of the car so you don't have to glue it on. Now I'm just going to sand it down, make sure it's nice and smooth. For the door and the frame, I'm going to use this veneer. This is the sort of thing that you use when you're building your cabinets for the kitchen and that's just for the edges. So I'm going to use that because it's like really, really thin. I'm almost there. As you can see, you can put it on, take it off whenever you want. It just kind of clicks on the back and it don't fall. So now I just need painting and adding some detail. But first of all, I need to put some liquid mask on the windows before I'm painting it. I'm using transparent brown uh, so you can see the wood grain and after that I'll give you a coat of clear. To finish the windows off, I'm going to use these washers and that is going to be the window frame.
Now I'm just gonna get the car ready for painting uh, and as usual I'm using the wire wheel to get rid of all the crap from the paint stripper and then I'll be getting rid of all the casting lines, give you a good sanding and uh, ready for primer. And uh, while the base coat is drying, I got carried away again. So I put a bit of detail and I've decided to put some solar panels on the roof. I know. So for that, I'm going to use this. They are keys from an old keyboard. And I'm going to be using this one because it's actually got a hinge. I've no idea why that's there. But it's going to come really handy, because now I can lift it up and down. And uh, as for the solar panel itself, I'm going to use this clear plastic. It's just from a package. I can't remember what. Probably sausages. And uh, this bit from an electric shaver, because he actually looks like the solar cells. So that's the bit that I'm going to be using, because anyway, it's knackered. So why don't just give it a second use? I didn't record it because I didn't think it was going to work, but it actually did. So now I can lift it up. It doesn't stay up all the time. Sometimes it does. The power cell actually broke and I couldn't do another one because there was not enough material. But uh, even in two pieces, I think it still looks alright. Uh, and when the sun is on the other side, well, you only have to lift the other side. And when you're ready to go, press it down and drive away. I'm doing a two-tone paint job. Uh, the bottom is going to be off-white and the top is going to be light green. As for the seeds, I'm painting them in a tan color. It's actually desert yellow from Vallejo, and I think it's a good match for like a light uh, leather color. Like I said before, I'm not really keen on the red window, so I'm gonna make my own. I only need the windshield for the front, because uh, the windows are gonna be down because it's a hot day. And uh, I'm going to use some masking tape to do a template. Once I've got the template done, I'm just going to stick it to the same piece of plastic and I'm just going to cut it and I'm going to make sure that I leave a tab on top and another one on bottom so I can glue it to the roof uh, and the bottom of the hood.
everything's finished now and I've glued the windshield already on top of the cup and now I'm just gonna put everything back together. There you go, I'm really happy with this one, about a lot of fun, everything went okay, I didn't have to do it like three or four times, and I'm really happy uh, with the result. And uh, the best thing I think is, uh, is removable, so you can play with the car or you can play with the camper, it's up to you. On the truck, I left the hole open just in case that I want to do something in the future. Also, scraped uh, the side trims, and this time I only had to do it once. I bought some detail, you know, with the lights and the registration plates and things like that. A new interior and a new windshield, and uh, quite a lot of uh, detail on the front as well with the grill and the headlights and the registration plate. And as for the camper, well, I made everything from scratch and I think it looks really good. I've had a lot of fun with this one and I hope you did too. Thanks a lot for watching, appreciate your support, don't forget to subscribe and like and everything like that. And uh, I'll see you next week with something else. Have a good day.